hold up. You're not planning on breaking up one of these families, are you? Think about the children. No, what? Uh, there's always an outlier from the pack, you know? Mm -hmm. Some loser that doesn't really mm -hmm. fit in. Mm -hmm. I'll find him. Mm -hmm. Well, what about... Oh, Santa! I need to hug him! Santa! <laughs> Can I have a photo? Hi, Michelle. Good morning from Las Vegas. How are you? Hi, I, you know, I'm, I'm great, actually. I'm enjoying, I'm over in Budapest, so I'm, I actually got a little bit of holiday snow, and that's, that's fun. Well, wonderful. Someone, that feels like a very special thing to get to experience. <laughs> well, thank you for joining me today to talk about your new comedy, Let's Get Married, uh, on VH1. Now, if I checked the naughty or nice list, where do you think I would find your name after making this movie? Ooh. Me, me personally? No, more your character, Zoe. Oh. <laughs> or both. She's upon a, upon unapologetically naughty, and I don't see anything wrong with it. Some of us got to be naughty in life. Someone's got to be naughty. So it might as well be Zoe. You know, I'm from Las Vegas, so I'm used to wild bachelorette parties, but this one gets out of control, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, and I love that it's just randomly in this Santa's Hamlet, which is, uh, I actually grew up in Miami and we had this place called Santa's Enchanted Forest, which was a Santa themed amusement park that only goes up for the holidays. So I, it, it felt a little close to home that there was a Santa's Hamlet that people went to. You know, and Zoe plays this really warped game. She's looking for a loser that doesn't fit in. She's not looking for love. She's looking for victory. Oh yeah, she's she's she uh, is looking to get a win, and I think it's been a really hard year for her. And somehow she gets it in her head that she just needs to find somebody and marry them that day. Because of course, people are sad, depressed, and lonely in the holidays, and it shouldn't be that difficult. Uh, you know, <laughs> I don't make excuses for her. I just advocate on her end. <laughs> Please be gentle with me. Please be gentle with me. I've never done this before. No, that's okay. what all the guys say. No, seriously, though. <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Wait. Stay, stand still. Put your weight on the back of your heels, right? Okay. You're going to bend your knees. Feel okay. that? Yeah. And then push and glide. Push and glide. Push. Push and glide. And glide. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, see? You got it. Oh, yeah, we good. <laughs> we good. We that good. Oh, oh. <laughs> now i can't ice skate i've tried my whole life is it as easy as push and glide oh ice skating yeah i don't know actually i i we shot in canada and somehow they seemed very surprised that i as an american knew how to ice skate uh and i grew up rollerblading and it felt like the same so i don't know i i think i've like it was kind of like a bicycle. I just was on those skates and I knew how to do it. So I would venture to say, yes, it's as easy as push and glide, but. You know, let's get married. This isn't a hall Hallmark holiday movie. It's disruptive, it's edgy, it's diverse. Uh, it's just something I wasn't expected, but very, very funny. Thank you, thank you. Yes, it is It is definitely very edgy. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of questionable, not suitable for work activities going on, but it, it is fun because it really is a reality of how so many people in the holidays experience it. It's not always just wrapping Christmas gifts for your kids under the tree. Sometimes you got to let loose, especially if it's been a hard year. Now, Michelle, you know, the stocking stuffers, does Santa know about this group of strippers? <laughs> Oh, the stocking stuffers. Santa should know about the strippers. I feel like it'd be a good rebranding for Santa. I don't know. I haven't spoken to Santa's PR, but I think I think uh, I think Santa would become a lot more popular if he he understood the the stocking stuffers dance and its appeal. You know, years ago I interviewed Queen Latifah for her movie, The Last Holiday, and we agreed. You know, finally getting some color in Christmas. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I it, you know it it is a space that I think historically has not made a lot of room for 
for black and brown voices. So that was also a big part of uh, the fun of getting to bring this to, to light because it wasn't specifically about being Latin or black or any other type of ethnicity. It's just about human beings experiencing the holidays and however, however they experience it. So I'm not mad at a little spice at a Christmas. I love a little spice at Christmas. And this is a movie that delivered it. And filing today, I have never heard of Jamie Fine. She was funny. She was hysterical. I've been listening to her music for a week for, I mean, all morning. What a discovery. I just love her. Seriously, we were all blown away. I, when she, when she came on set, a few of the Canadians were a huge fan of hers and we didn't know. And I assume she made joke music because she's so funny and just so natural in front of the camera. So I thought it was kind of like a weird Al Yankovic style music. And then they played me some of her music and it was so sultry and soulful. I just was like, wow, like a woman of many talents. She really, truly, truly what a find. She was fantastic. And well, a really you. great person on top of it, which is always oh, nice. It comes through. It comes through. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. What a wonderful holiday experience. Very different, but I enjoyed it immensely. And uh, I appreciate you talking to me today. And uh, you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday. And let's talk again soon. Yes, yes. Happy Holidays to you too.